Alrighty, so... A lot of people have recently been asking me how to add new colors to clan gen, and I recently made a video about how to do spite how to do sprite replacements. Sorry if I'm not talking correctly. One, I'm not very good at explaining things. Two, it is getting to be kind of late at night and I just ate and I'm... Well, I'm a little bit bad at talking anyway. Um, the thing is, the difference between uh, doing sprite replacements and coding in completely new uh, sprite sheets is a very... it's a very different thing. And I've only recently learned how to code in new colors myself and I know very, very little about coding. So, fair warning, this tutorial may not be very good, but I'm going to do my best to try and explain it. And at the very least, if you have like a visual aid so you can actually see what I'm doing, you might be able to like infer without like my flubbed up explanations and narration or what have you. So, anyways, um, but I guess I'll go ahead and get into it. So, the first thing you're gonna need is a program called Thawney. Um, Thawney is a program that is going to be able to help you, like, look at the source code of the game. You're gonna need the uh, source code version of the game, for one thing. And, um, it'll, this, this program is gonna let you be able to, like, look at the, look at the code and edit it. Uh, Thani should come with both Python and Pygame installed. Uh, if you need some help getting uh, Pygame installed, you should be able to like manage plugins and uh, just type in Pygame on here, search, and then basically like click on like the first thing and just hit install. I have it installed, so that should that should hopefully work. And like I said, you're going to need the source code version of uh, Clan Gen. Uh, you can find it on the uh, main download page. There will be like three options. There will be uh, one that says Windows, one that says Source Code, and one that says Mac. You'll go with the one that says Source Code. And that will be the one that allows you to edit the .py files using the program Thani. You're also going to need your new sprite sheets, the ones that you're going to be trying to add into your game. Uh, they need to have um, a new name that isn't the same as the default. For example, the default, uh, the default names are like single colors, single extra, speckled colors, speckled extra, etc. I just added more at the start of the ones I'm going to be using for this example, so I can show you like how they're going to be added. Also. I, the way that I do it, I don't know how to edit in ones that do not have the same layouts as the default. So, you'll probably be able to like, see in little icons here that there's going to be like six colors across the top, four colors in the middle, and then three across the bottom. And it's the exact same as it is in the default, because that's the way I know how to make it work. If there's a way to do it that is different, uh, I don't know it, maybe somebody else does. And uh, you'd be better off like looking up their tutorial or something. I don't know that uh, I'm just trying to explain the way I know how to do it. Also, you're going to need to remember the na the name that you gave to your um, your new save files. Uh, mine is just like the exact same as the old, but with more at the start, which I think I've already explained. But you know, so. To go ahead and start editing your code, you're going to open up the scripts folder in the um, clan gen install, and then you're going to open up sprites in Thani. And once you're in the sprites, uh, the sprites.py file, you're going to scroll down until you can see a spot that actually like has all the names of the different sprite files. Like you can see, like all of these are the same. Um, the same names as all of the PNG files that you saw in the sprites folder earlier. There's line art, single colors, speckle colors, tabby colors, etc. And you're going to go ahead and basically put a comma after the last one that there is. And you can safely do a little enter, then apostrophe, and then type in the name of the, um, the sprites sheets that you have added. So in my case it would be more single colors, I have to remember that there's a U in the original, I just literally added more to the top. Apostrophe, comma, and then I move on to the next one. So that would be 
more single extra and I would just continue to move on until I have names of all of the sprite files that I have added. All right, and as you can see, I have made sure that I have like all of the ones for like single colors, tabby colors, and speckled. I don't know if this works if you haven't done it for all three categories. So um, just keep that in mind. I am, again, I don't know much about coding. I have literally just learned this recently. And so once you have all of the new sprites added into the list of sprite names, you are once again going to scroll down until you find where it says like the little hashtag single colors and you'll have these three sections here that have the names of the different colors as well as here being the name of the sprite sheet. And what you're gonna do is um, I find easiest to just copy the entire section and just hit enter a couple times. Make sure that it, like the it's all aligned to the edge and paste. And once I have that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give all of the name, all of these colors, new names. And I'm gonna have to remember the names I have given these colors as well. So I'm just gonna open up a little notepad so I can remember the names I'm giving these colors. Also, you need to make sure that it's in all caps. I don't know if that actually makes a difference, but like, I, I'm not I'm not taking any chances. So I'm just I'm just going with what the code already says. In addition to having all of these names change to whatever the heck you're changing them to, you're also going to take uh, this little area here and change it to the name of the sprite file that you're using. In my case, it is more single colors and more single extra. And excuse that, that was my cat Simba leaping through the cat flap. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same with all of these files. More, 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 more. And I'm going to scroll down here to where it says Tabby and do the exact same thing over again. Just copy. I'm gonna paste it there. I'm gonna put more in front of all the file names and I'm gonna change the names of all the colors. I'm gonna do the same for speckled as well. By the way, you don't have to name your colors the exact same that I'm doing this. This is literally just, uh, you, you can literally add your own color names if you want. These are just the names I'm going with. You can literally just name them after like animals if you want. You can name them actual colors. You can name them like the most ridiculous stuff. This is just what I'm doing just so I have like short-ish names that are easy to remember. And then, once all of your uh, color names are in place, as well as the more, um, the more uh, sprite name uh, stuff, um, just kind of scroll through, make sure that there's nothing else that like, says it needs like the uh, colors, and save your, uh, save your program. And then, you're gonna go ahead and open up uh, the uh, pelts.py uh, file instead. Now in the pelts.py file, you're going to scroll down again to where it has the names of all of the colors. Uh, you'll see areas where it has like names like the white markings and like underneath all the stuff, but you're gonna scroll down to where it has the names of the colors you've been using under attributes right here. And you're going to go ahead, put a little comma after dark brown and start adding in the names of all of the colors that you've been using. So for my case, it'd be snow, bright gray, etc., and I'll just go ahead and add in all of the color names here. And then, once you have all of your colors written down in place, I'd say just go ahead, copy down like the entire list, and do the exact same thing where it also has the names of all the colors. Just go ahead, paste it there. Uh, maybe I'm gonna remove the space there because I don't think that that's a good idea. I'm gonna add a space between there 
I'm gonna do the same thing after this spot where it says dark brown. And I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down, make sure there's nowhere else. Uh, where it says sprite names, you're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and add in all of the colors. Make sure everything is formatted properly as well, because if there's any errors, your game might not run or it could crash in the middle of playing it or there will be like some errors that come up in the game. Once you've made sure that all the areas where uh, the names of your sprite colors are going to go are in place, go ahead and save it. And this time you're going to open up a different file called names.py. Now this is one where you're going to have to start getting a little bit creative. This is the file that has all of the prefixes and suffixes that are in the game. And I'm pretty sure you could like go ahead and like add your own like as is no matter what. But you're going to go down to where it says color prefixes. And if you don't do this, uh, your game will not run. So go ahead, um, I'm going to add a comma after this bracket here. I'm going to go ahead and move this like squiggly bracket I don't remember the name of to its own line. That is safe to do, thankfully. I'm going to go ahead and add in the color snow, put a little colon there, and inside the brackets I'm going to start putting in prefixes that I would associate with this particular color. So in this case I would do snow, white, uh, light, moon, and so on. You don't have to do a ton of names, I'm going to do like five for my example. I need to think of another one. Um, cloud, then I do a close bracket, comma, move on to the next line, and then I would start with the next color. And it, I would repeat the process up until I have all the colors in place. When you reach the final color, this time you do not put a comma at the end, otherwise there will be like some errors that come up. Just kind of leave it as is, have the closed bracket thingy with the squiggle at the very end, and everything should be fine. Also make sure you put that comma at the end of the dark brown, otherwise like it wouldn't be able to tell the difference between dark brown and snow and that'll cause some errors to come up, so make sure everything's formatted correctly. And gonna scroll through, make sure everything's in place. There's also a bunch of loner names in case you want to add any more loner games to your- loner names to your game. And once all that is done, you should go ahead and save the game. And finally, uh, I would say you would go back to the main.py file. In my case, it was the first thing I opened up, so it, I have like a little tab of it right here. And you can just go ahead and hit this little green circle with an arrow in it and run the game. You can go ahead and run main.py. You'll see this appear, and oh, there's apparently some invalid thing. Like I said, if, if the game is working correctly, everything should be working fine. In my case, something has gone wrong, so I'm gonna go ahead, click where it says that something happened here. Uh, around here, oh, there's not a comma after storm. So I'm gonna go ahead, put a comma after the end of the bracket after storm, save the game, go back to main.py, and go ahead and run the game. And clan gen is now running, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a new clan. New clan, I'll just randomize the name, fly clan, sure. And um, you'll be able to see some of your new colors will probably start showing up alongside the old default colors. Uh, with me, like, it might be a little bit more easy to tell because the sprites I added have, like, shaders installed. So comparing the ones with shaders to the default, which do not, is actually kind of interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and see, let like this clan kind of run through a little bit of time. All right, I've skipped ahead about like 200 moons for this test clan. This is um, the clan I'm using to kind of test the colors, make sure everything's going okay. And as you can see, there's like a whole mixture of colors, some of which are the default, like this is like the original Pale Ginger. This is like the gold that I added. 
Uh, this is like the bluish color I have. Some of them might be a little harder to tell because of the markings or something. But regardless, uh, now that I have like all of them in place, you can see that, uh, yes, uh, there's new colors alongside the old. This is the original dark ginger, I believe. And it's alongside like this reddish dark ginger that I've got. And you know what? I am really loving how I can have like all the different colors side by side. So anyways, I hope that this explains how to add new pelt colors well enough. Um, I know it's not the best explanation. I'm not the best person at explaining how things work. And um, I'm also very, very new to learning how to code anything. Um, if you need help, uh, you'd probably be better off asking somebody who actually knows how to code. I know there's actually like a little coding section in the clan gen discord. So you could ask there if you need like any additional help. I know that um, coding in stuff like new eye colors and like white patches and new tortoise shell markings uh, is a kind of similar process to what I showed you, though there might be like some slightly different stuff you have to do. You have to like search out the specific thing where it says eyes or tortoise shell or whatever. But anyways, I really hope that this helps you out. And uh, if I explain anything weirdly, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, I hope that this helps and I will see you guys in the future. Stay safe out there, guys.